so I am very thankful that she's out here with me, but she was made for a motor yacht. <laughs> Stop at the fuel pier, hopped up on diesel. And St. Mary's. In St. Mary's, Main Harbor. And uh, now we're pointing the boat south, heading to Spain. We're in about seven knots of breeze, so sailing is gonna be very slow. We are probably gonna be motoring, but uh, we actually did this on purpose since we have some heavy weather coming in at the end of the week. We give ourselves plenty of time to get to Spain and cross the Bay of Biscay um, before the strong westerlies pick up and we start getting some heavy, heavy seas coming through the bay. So we're going to be most likely motor sailing for 300, 300 nautical miles. Do you have that much fuel? Just barely. She braves up once we're out there, so we'll, we'll be fine, but I'd just as soon get to Spain. We've uh, been long overdue for getting to a new country, so. It's time. It's time. All right, let's eat. Yay. Sun setting, it's 8.30 at night. Van is asleep and I'm taking the first watch, which is eight to midnight or so. And uh, it's been exciting. There's a ship that's anchored out there, but we didn't know it was anchored at first. And we kept the uh, radar kept telling us we're on a collision course with it. So it was really scary because we're like, why can't we get any distance from the ship? And then we figured out it was anchored. So Dan goes to bed, and then I get another ship that pops up directly in front of us. And we're headed right for it, and I didn't know what to do. And then I realized that one's anchored too. So we had to adjust, I had to wake up Dan. He had to come up. We adjusted our course. And so we've got two huge ships anchored, one in front of us and one just off our starboard side. And the sun is setting and it's absolutely beautiful. And there's the ship right next to the setting sun. So this is our first night at sea and we have to motor sail, but we're making great progress and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Day two of our Biscay crossing. Last night was light air, we motored most of the way, but this morning it picked up to uh, eight, nine knots of breeze, nice calm flat seas. And we got our stay sail. And spinnaker this morning. We went smartly at about four and a half knots and uh, nine knots of breeze. I'll take that. We just 
had a whale encounter. Yay, we saw a whale! Well, we found a spout and many of them. About a half mile away we saw a bunch of spouts coming up and of course we immediately thought it was going to be an orca attack. <laughs> At least I did. Hi. Like, how do I get the spinnaker down? Oh. It turned out to be, uh, it had to be several, but we only saw the one. I saw the one through the binoculars of the, the big humpback. The only bit of excitement today, otherwise it's been really even keel all day. Just like this. Yeah, it's really cool. But I like even keel. Yeah, it's so good. people we've made it to Lake Biscay Allison wants to go water skiing no until I saw that shark and then I said nope we just saw a shark fin protruding out of the water and I'm like this is why I don't go swimming off the boat in the ocean it was it was a tiny shark like that was a half a mile away if it got closer it'd be huge And we actually have a company. There's a sailboat heading north, right there. I'm sure you can't see it, but he's also motoring. It's the kind of thing you do on a day like today. and we can actually see Spain out the window. Well, it's not really a window. But anyway, if you look carefully through the clouds, those are the mountains of Spain. So we can see land. Hallelujah. Dan is asleep. His shift ended at 7 this morning, so I took over let him go back to sleep. So we're just kind of uh, waiting for I guess our ETA is about 
4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, so we have the whole day to prepare. We may be bored when we get there. Usually when we get to a new country and check in, oftentimes people come and check for contraband and drugs and things. So we'll have to clean up a little bit and get ship shape and check in and see what there is to do in Spain. Well, it's not the most beautiful of days, a little overcast and cloudy, but uh, we'll take it. And we are cruising along the coast of Spain, enjoying the scenery, um, and looking for an anchor to harbor in. 